Cooper Island, British Virgin Islands, as we got started for the morning hours, not a whole lot going on. Some decent sunshine out there. We're expecting to see more of that as we continue over these next few days. A quiet weekend in store. Uh, as you can see, though, a little bit in the way of some cloud cover. We have seen a little bit more in the way of that, and likely we'll be seeing that stick around at least for these next 24, 48 hours. Doppler Max showcasing nothing in terms of alerts. Of course, that is great news. We won't be seeing any of those in the upcoming future. Satellite across the Caribbean, a little more active off to the west as opposed to the east. You can see we're in pretty good shape here across our region. Just a few clouds passing on by. There's a trough of moisture off to the north. This will continue to try to sag southward, but high pressure kind of keeping it at bay and not really allowing those showers and storms to push on in. But definitely more active out there towards Cuba, the Yucatan Peninsula, where we could be seeing a bit more of shower and thunderstorm activity. Let's take you through future cast. You can see that trough still not really uh, budging a whole lot for the most part. A more active area of moisture lies off there to the west into the Yucatan Peninsula. You'll be seeing some showers and storms. We continue into our Sunday Cuba, Hispaniola, though even much of Central America, Lesser Antilles looking at a decent amount of sunshine. The clouds will be sharing the sky with the sun over the course of these next few days. You can see breaks of sun or breaks of cloud cover as we continue through our Friday afternoon. I wouldn't say a pure sunshine, but I do think we'll be seeing more sun rather than clouds. Here's our future cast in terms of rainfall amounts. Not seeing really anything for the most part. Those rain chances remaining low and hence rainfall accumulation looking to be low as well. Future wind coming from the east or typical easterly winds gaining a little more magnitude Friday into Saturday and see the return of some green shading here. So we're talking about winds possibly 10 20 miles per hour could be seeing gusts a little higher than that. But our wave height still looking good. Deeper shades of blue continue between St. Thomas and St. John. That kind of comes to an end a bit as we head for our Saturday. So maybe slightly above average wave heights as we head for the heart of the weekend here Saturday afternoon into our Sunday and maybe getting a little bit taller as we head for our Sunday morning there. Let's get right to our Friday forecast. We're going 82 up to 84 there across most of the BVI. Warmest we got is 86 out there into St. Croix. I feel like they typically are the warmest for the most part. 28 up to 30 degrees Celsius, of course. That is our conversion from Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at our Virgin Islands five-day forecast. Not a whole lot to talk about for the most part. The sunshine remaining strong. High temperatures very steady as well. 86, 88 degrees, 74, 72 for those overnight low temperatures. So really not expecting a whole lot in terms of variation of sky conditions as well as variation in temperatures. Low temperatures into the middle 70s, possibly some low 70s across the interior. Then as we head for the afternoon hours, the warmest temperatures expected once again for those inland spots, maybe a touch cooler by the immediate water's edge. But plenty of sunshine, not a whole lot to worry about heading the weekend, Trace. Sounds good. Thanks, AJ.